It is the first of the original Seven Wonders of the World ever built. It is also the last one still standing. And to this day, it reigns supreme as the most accurate structure on this entire fucking planet. Because not only is it aligned to within 360th of a degree to true north, but the 13 acres it sits on was leveled to within 7 eighths of an inch. The casing stones that once encapsulated it were placed to within 1 one hundredth of an inch. And the base of the Great Pyramid is nearly a perfect square, off by only 0.01%. Holy shit. Yet, even though it rises to a height of 481 feet and was constructed out of nearly 2.3 million stones, uh, according to Egyptologists, this big bastard was cut with copper and built without the use of the wheel or the pulley system. Which, uh, according to engineers, is fucking impossible, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because copper ranks about a 2 on the Mohs hardness scale, the interior stone red granite ranks about an 8, so obviously, this remains a mystery. And so is how they got there, because some of these big bastards weigh upwards of 80 tons, requiring over 800 men just to pull it and you can't fit that many men on one side of the ramp plus how are you getting around those corners now here's where things get let's just say complicated it's not a problem that's been totally solved and um you know i've given my suggestions i've tried to base them in the landscape but um you know a lot of it is still inference egyptologists are 100 percent aware of the issues are 100 percent totally okay with it and have absolutely no fucking problem admitting it because the only other option is a greater technology the problem that technology at the very minimum would have to be on par with what we have today case in point those red granite blocks that make up the interior of the pyramid which try as you might no matter how much fucking water or sand you use copper ain't cut in red granite to this precision and the only thing that we know of today that can is this and Here's the thing, the ancient Egyptians called it a resurrection machine, pyramid translated as fire in the middle, and tested theories show the pyramid could have actually been a type of power generator. And if you want to hear more about that theory, there are some buttons you could push that will help me get that message. Anyway, the fact of the matter is the accepted theory has a shit ton of holes that can only be plugged by a technology that was way more f***ing advanced, leading me to think that maybe, just maybe, a greater technology is exactly what the ancient Egyptians had. But hey, that's just my opinion. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. What do you think?